Now, the record books list Jose Ferrar as a graduate architect, Broadway actor, painter, designer, director, motion picture star. In fact, he's done everything from building a bridge to switching to Calvert. Jose Ferrar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am here to present the scientific or technical awards, and I want to make one thing clear at the outset. The method of selecting the scientific and technical awards is different from any of the others. A committee made up of the ranking technicians, engineers, and scientists of the industry spends months investigating the long list of technical advances made during the year. This means that if a scientist or technician receives Academy recognition, his achievement has undergone the most careful scrutiny of his peers and a tougher audience doesn't exist. Not even this one tonight. The statuette or Oscar for scientific and technical achievement is not given annually. It is presented only when a giant forward stride has been made in motion picture science. Tonight is only the sixth such presentation in the history of the Academy. Up until a short while ago, all 35 millimeter motion picture film in general use was inflammable. It had been a continuing hazard to the thousands of people all over the world who work with film. Also, it was a threat to our archives, that great mass of contemporary history which has been recorded on film. After years of effort, a new type of improved safety film has been introduced. For that achievement, the development and introduction of the improved triacetate safety-based motion picture film, the Oscar has been awarded. Will Mr. Emery Hughes accept the Academy Award for the Eastman Kodak Company? <laughs> The following achievements have been awarded certificates of honorable mention. To Lauren L. Ryder, Bruce H. Denny, Robert Carr, and the Paramount Sound Department for the development and application of the supersonic playback and public address system. In simple and maybe slightly inaccurate words, this is a radio so tiny that it can be carried in an actor's pocket. This makes it possible for music or verbal directions to be delivered to the actor or actress without interfering with the ordinary recording of dialogue. The idea has already saved a great deal of time and led to some rather interesting dilemmas. <laughs> Congratulations, gentlemen. To Mr. M. <laughs> to Mr. M. B. Paul for the first successful large area seamless translucent background. Now, this one is involved. Broken down, it means that when you see one of those scenes with two lovers on the veranda, and the Manhattan skyline in the background, the background will look better from now on. <laughs> Unhappily, this invention does not affect the actors. <laughs> anyway, congratulations to Mr. Paul. To Herbert E. Britt for the development and application of formulas and equipment producing artificial snow and ice for dressing motion picture sets. Out here in California, we don't get a look at much real snow, but this new development would confuse even an Eskimo. It lasts longer, it looks colder, and it feels warmer. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Britt. To Andre Coutin and Jacques Matteau for the design of the Eclair Camerette. This is a handheld motorized precision camera with a direct view of the image while it is being photographed. Also, it has instantly interchangeable magazines and accurate registration. This instrument increases very considerably the mobility of our cameramen and will make a handsome Christmas present for June Allison to give to Dick Powell. <laughs> Congratulations, gentlemen. To Charles R. Daly and to Steve Chillag and the Paramount Engineering, Editorial, and Music Departments for the new precision method for computing variable tempo click tracks. Now, the click track is the device by which, in certain difficult cases, 
the Hollywood musician is able to fit his music to the visual image on the screen. These engineers have turned a long, time-consuming task into a simple, rapid operation, and for the first time made it possible for Hollywood musicians to get home on time for dinner. Congratulations to you, gentlemen. <laughs> to the International Projector Corporation for the simplified and self-adjusting take-up device for projection machines. This development reduces to almost the zero point the danger of fire and film mutilation in the projectors. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> and last, to Alexander Velkov for the application to production of the infrared photographic evaluator. You may not know that actors being photographed in both infrared and ordinary photography in the same sequence present a problem to the cameramen because of the variations in the color values of their makeup and clothing. This new device makes possible an immediate and exact estimate of these variations. It would also, if widely distributed, no doubt wreck the men's wear business. Certainly no group in our industry has knocked at frontiers and sought improvements so consistently as the scientists and technicians. Congratulations to all of you. And congratulations to you, Joe. Well, this is me sort of getting my second wind. At least I hope I do. <laughs> <laughs>